Gus, I've made the pick up. It's all there. What's up, buddy? Waffle. Oh, you dropped your little waffle. waffle. Hang on, mate. Mummy will get it. Hang on, Crispin. Mummy's going to get your waffle. <laughs> yeah, see in ten. Right, sit rep, three car MVA, four wheel drive, two occupants, one adult, one infant, sedan, one female, van, one male trapped. Jordan, chase this car. Yep, no worries. Make, make, step away from, step away from the car, step away. Lara sitting in this door open. Yep, no worries. <clears throat> The ram's not going to shift this dash. Not with that power pole wedged up against us. All righty, we've got a forward control vehicle here. I have to do a reverse dash roll to get this guy out of here. I want shocks under A, B, and C pillar. Travel to me till day. Is Crispin okay? Chris, baby, mummy's here. It's okay. Is he okay? Yeah, his car seat's protected him. Christian is fine. Crispin, not Christian. Oh. Okay. So, what's your name? Sonia. Sonia, do you know what happened? No. Oh, you've been in a car accident. Is there any pain anywhere? In my stomach. Okay. Now, is it just your abdomen? Just let me know where it hurts, okay? <laughs> Jordan. I think she's ruptured her spleen, and who knows what else she's bleeding into her abdomen. I'm gonna be okay, I Yeah, yeah. We just gotta get you free, and then we'll get you into an ambulance, okay? Johnson Crescent Overpass. Buddy, confirmation Hold the on, power man. is off at this site. Yeah, yeah, Dino. Yeah, I'm on the blog to the operations manager. He has confirmed power is off at the site. Are you gonna answer it? What do you want me to say? He can't come on the phone right now, he's incoherent. Sonia, Sonia. Hey, say it with me. Where were you going this morning? The job interview. Carl and my husband. He doesn't want me to work, but I'm sick to death of Dr. Phil. Yeah, he's gotten way too big for his boots since his days on Oprah. Hey, attention. All right, start winching! Can you grab us a spine, boy? John! John! Phil, I need you to pop this window and get this side out. All right, guys, take it nice and slowly here. Yeah, on a free one leg and crush the other. Hey, 
I'm here. I'm right here. But as soon as we cut that pillar away, we'll get you out, OK? Hey, Chase, we're ready to start cutting. Not long now, Sonny. OK, again, yeah, just a half bar, just a half bar. Almost there. Watch the power pole there. Looks unstable. Whoa, 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 whoa! Power five, move, move! Power's supposed to be off! They're trying to kill it! Stay away from the car! Stay away from the car! Stay back, stay away from the car! Stay back, stay away from the red car, too! What's going on? Hang in there, Chase. Sit yeah, it's live! Chase, sit tight, sit tight. Car's live. Vince, Dean! Told me the power was off! Yeah, Dino, um... We've got a few infrastructure problems. The wrong grid was shut down. It's pear-shaped, mate. There's a serious treatment plant on the grid. If we don't want to be up to our armpits in poo, we're going to have to wait till they check on that generator. OK, well, I'll call the energy minister. Just hang in there, Sonia. The car's electrified. We can't get you out till we kill the current. All right, everyone, out of the hot zone. Behind the ambulance. Go, go. Band right is out. Transporting. Boys, court. Vince, give me some good news. Thank you, Mr Minister. I appreciate you making the call. Grid will be down in one minute, Dino. Come on! What's taking so long? Chase, how's she doing? Yeah, her BP's in her boots. We need to get her out now. Right, just, just hang in there. Power will be down in one minute. What's your name? It's Chase. Can you tell me the truth, Chase? Am I going to die? Look what we're doing. Everything in our power to make sure that doesn't happen, OK? Boys, clear! Let's hang on. Some morphine. My daughter, Damson. You have to tell her something for me. You can tell her yourself. No, please. It's important. You can tell her. Go on. He's not her father. All right, Colin's your husband. Jack Blake's whom your dad. Promise you'll tell her. Who's this Jack Blake guy? Uh, she said he's the father of her daughter, Tamsin. Does Colin know this? No, uh, it didn't say. Obviously, Tamsin doesn't. It's a hell of a dying declaration. So, what are you going to do? I'll tell you what I do, Chase. Absolutely nothing. People say some strange things on the way out. I don't know whether it's a no, lack of oxygen or adrenaline or what, or whatever it is. Mess with the brain. Hey, boys, news on in five. Looks like we made the headline. Police say the three-car pileup was caused by an unknown person dropping rocks onto one of the cars from this a freeway is... overpass. This is the third rock-throwing incident in the past month. We on yet? Though the first to result in a fatality. Police believe all the incidents are the work you of what? one individual, but admit they are no closer to finding... Michelle, what was that about rock-throwing? One of the drivers reckons they saw someone lob a rock from the overpass. And uh, the police want statements from everyone. Well, you're a TV star, Lara. Nice work. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. What is that, it? 
I'm going to skip washing my hair just to watch Lara on the telly. You're well, kidding, you're aren't too you? ugly for TV. Which is exactly why Lara should do the DUI talk tomorrow. So you make far more of an impression. What? I did the last three DUIs. You know, maybe if you did it naked, it would make more of an impression. Is that one of your little tricks with a bit of nudity to spice up oh, the yeah. talk? Oh, yeah. No, that... actually, Dean, I rely on my strengths, those being charm and intelligence. Because if you're going to do it naked, I'll turn up. Oh, will you? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, Mish. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, babe. How's the rescue business going? Well, you know, never a dull moment. How's life in commercial property law? Yeah, well, the market's a bit soft and um, struggling to make this month's target, but... Can't always be a winner. I'll see you guys later. Hmm. Babe, we're booked for 7 o'clock, so we need to... Ah, yeah, I've made it easy for you. Uh, Sammy, you got it? Oh, yeah, she's got an easy one. Jeez, mate, oh, yeah. Is that Sammy from St. Vincent's? Uh, yeah. Getting a nurse's number. Logistics Centre, the base of operations for all our rescues. And in here lives Michelle Letourneau. This is Rick Jones. Rick, Michelle. Ah, rang this morning, one or two in the back cave. Rick's considering a career in rescue. Tossing up between this or the fireys. Oh, well, rescue is where the action is. And that's what I keep telling him. Michelle, phone call. Here's your application form. Oh, thanks. Hey, that's you, isn't it? You're the angel, right? Yeah, that's me. So, when do we get to the good stuff? Right. This is where we keep the road crash gear, hydraulic cutters, spreaders, combat tools, rams. This is more like it. Uh, do you mind if I shoot some film? I do this video blog for my website. Yeah, sure. It's not top secret. All right. Um, OK, what does this do? That's an intrinsically safe modiwalk, insulated from electricity. I had to use one of them yesterday, three-car MVA. One of the cars became electrified. Oh, yeah, I saw that on the news. So you guys must really love the big car accidents. Get to put all your specialised training into practice. Oh, it's also pretty horrible. Uh, yeah, I, um, i got to admit, I get a bit squeamish around the side of the red stuff. You tend to forget about that when you're focused on the job. I don't think I could ever forget about the blood. Uh, I'm uh, Chase Gallagher. I'm with Rescue Special Operations. I uh, treated your mum yesterday, Sonia. Pamson, who is it? Says the guy who treated mum. Oh. Colin Taylor. Uh, Chase Gallagher. Did she suffer? No. No, she didn't suffer. If I ever catch the bastard who threw that rock. Sorry. Would you like a coffee? Um, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, thanks. You guys always make house calls and relics of the dead? No, it's not standard practice, no. So, why are you here? Some sick freak who gets his rocks off doing this. You must be upset. You know the two stages of grief? I'm in the first. Denial. Are there five stages? You take sugar? Uh, 
Actually, I, I've got to get back to work. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Ed. What is it? Tell me. Um, your mother, before she died, look, she gave me a message to get you. Colin Taylor's not your real dad. Your real dad's some guy called Jack Blake. Who's Jack Blake? I don't, I don't know. She didn't tell me. Wasn't sure if you took sugar. I've also got equal. What's going on? Tammy? What have you said to Tamsin? Uh, no, 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 um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to upset her, I just had to... Uh, sorry. What possessed you to do something as stupid as that? I made a promise. I don't care if you crossed your heart and you hoped to die. It was a dying wish. How could I ignore that? Very easily, Chase. She's dead. She wouldn't have known any different. So, mate, can I help you something? Yeah, Gus Brensky, Fisher's brother-in-law. You treated him yesterday. Transit van, three-car pile-up. I was just wondering about his stuff. From the car, his belongings. Right, yeah, yeah, mate. All his stuff would have gone to uh, St Vincent's Hospital. Yeah, yeah. Well, some of it did, but a backpack's missing. Green one. Hospital reckon it never turned up. Well, I treated him at the scene. I don't remember seeing a, a backpack there. Suppose I'll check the hospital out again then. See you later. Good luck. Chase. My office. Now. Shall I made a promise to this woman. And it couldn't have waited a few weeks, perhaps until after the funeral? I might have lost my nerve if I'd waited any longer. Mr. Taylor wants to make a formal complaint. He's talking about taking this to the media. Can you imagine what'll happen if the press get wind of this? I'm sorry, but what would you have done? Oh, Chase, to be honest, I don't know. It's a big secret to carry around. I guess you didn't want to take it with her to the grave. No, I meant for you. Now, I'm not condoning what you did today, but I think it took a lot of guts. So get out of here. Oh, and Chase, whether I sympathise with you or not, you will stay away from that family, yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Huh. Scared pretty easy for a big, tough rescue, dude. What are you doing here? I found a picture of Jack Blake in Mum's HSE yearbook. He was her first boyfriend. Look, look, you can't be here. I can't be seen talking to you. Mum married Dad when she was 18, three months after she graduated. You don't understand. I could get into a lot of trouble. That isn't my best subject, but I'm pretty good at art. I reckon I can join the dots. Need you to drive me. He lives miles away. What? No, look, Tamsin, I'm really sorry, but I can't get involved. You're already involved. Everything here is so totally ancient. Hi. Oasis, Green Day, Nirvana, Beyonce. Okay, you don't want an adolescent phase. All right, fine. What's your idea of good music? I'm into Afropunk, African rhythm with a bit of punk sensibility. You don't strike me as a black punk rocker. You don't look like Beyonce's number one fanboy. Hey, I told you that's not my. Hello? Chase, it's Sasha. Hey, Sasha, hey, what's up? I uh, just wondering if you're free tonight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely I'm free. I thought we could check out that new club, Decibel, that's opened down for me. You could park your car at mine, stay the night. Sounds awesome. And wear your new uh, jeans with that blue checkered shirt. I'm wearing that little black number with my black heels, so we'll match. All right, well, I, I guess I'll see you at nine. I'll see you later. You are one lovesick puppy. Sounds like high maintenance. You reckon? So, do you want me to wait? I'm just kidding. Bad joke.
Good luck. want to know me, okay? He's got a perfect life with his own little brats to worry about. Them. Just go. What are you waiting for? Where do you want me to go? Drop me in town, anywhere. I, I don't care. Come on! Oh, nice one! Hey, call me Jordan. <laughs> All right, Jordan. <laughs> All right, what do you give me if I get it in from here? Um, come on! Ten bucks if I miss, I'll give you five. Now, you're really determined to get me to pay for your chopper lesson, eh? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh. All right. Whoever wants to take my place tonight, now is your last chance. Last chance. Yeah, I'll do it. For like a hundred bucks. <laughs> what have you been smoking? Mate, she's saving up for a chopper lesson. How do you do? Um, you write up yesterday's reports, and I'll do the talk tonight. I'll do you a deal. You write up the reports and do the talk tonight. I'll watch both the patrols and the rescue truck. Oh, yeah, OK. No deal. Mate, <laughs> no, you're just going to take it through the car wash like you always do. What? Where's the solidarity, brother? Huh? <laughs> oh, hey. yes. Come on, come on. Boy, you got oh, skills. Oh, nice Boy, shot. Boy, you got you're skills. On fire, Gallagher. Huh? <laughs> 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 Tonight's guest is from Rescue Special Operations. So please welcome Dean Gallagher. Thanks. By law, you are required to be here so I could start with a speech on the dangers of drink driving, but I tend to find that pictures are worth more, so. Here you can see the truck has sheared the top of the car clean off, resulting in decapitation of the driver. Blood alcohol was 0.16. This driver was on the way home from an all-nighter, doing 75 in a school zone. Blood alcohol was 0.22. Both victims here were under the age of 10. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you called. Seeing you today is exactly what I need after the day I've had. You had a busy one? No, not so much busy, just bizarre. This girl, Tamsin. I don't want to hear about another girl tonight. Sorry. Sorry. Hello? It's Tamsin. In Tamsin, how did you get this number? Blue chased it from your phone. I need your help. I've had an accident. You know, what do you mean, an accident? Smashed a Vespa. Yeah, but you're 15, you're not even old enough to drive. Did you steal it? I bought it. It's very hard. It's worse than it looks. Oh. So is this Ms. High Maintenance? That's what you called her? Tonight was obviously a mistake. Taxi! Sasha! Look, just let me take care of Tams and then we can go. No, she'd said it. What, did you agree with her? <laughs> no, oh, look. It's hardly a scratch. She doesn't need you, Chase. She's seeking attention. Yeah, look. Okay, look, I know, but I, I can't exactly leave her here. Why not? Because I feel responsible for her. Look, why should you feel responsible for her? It's a long story. Put her in this cab and send her home. Oh, 
Oh, Sasha, come on. Come on, Dad. That girl can't stay here. What else am I going to do? Well, send her home to her father. I'll try to talk her into going home, but she won't. You've got child protection obligations here, Chase. She's a minor. Okay, so what am I going to do? Just toss her out in the street? So, did you call? Yeah. Left a message. Told him I was staying at her mates. So, you're going to go home tomorrow? Sort things out with your dad? You're too good for that, Sasha. No. So, I had this big property tax win for a top client. Takes me out to celebrate a few reds, and I get the whole. Standard drinks thing confused. How confused? 0.11? Yeah, I know. And after seeing those horrible photos, it kind of... You know, I feel sick to the stomach. I can't believe Lara didn't tell me you were going to be here. I mean, she knew I was doing this course. Right. Right. She doesn't know. Look, I was going to tell her, but I didn't, so... She just hates drunk drivers, you know? I think she hates pulling their victims out of car wrecks, more to the point, ain't she? Anyhow, I'd appreciate it if um, you didn't say anything. Whatever happens between you and Lara's got nothing to do with me. Jesus. Thanks. All right, so. Uh, I suppose you need a ride home. Dean, right? Dean Gallagher? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's Gus, isn't it? How'd you go with uh, finding your brother's backpack? Well, the hospital swear blind, they never saw it. I reckon you rescue blokes must have taken it. Well, they're mistaken. The thing is, I'd really love to get it back. I'd be really grateful, Dean. Well, I'd love to be able to help you, Gus, but as I told you earlier today... I don't want to make an issue with this. Yeah, well, don't, all right? Just, just leave it. Listen, I want a green backpack, and I want it now. Mate, come on, mate, come on. Hey, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That's enough. Tess, morning. I'm not a virgin. Okay, not something I need to know. Can't I sleep here? No, you can't. I won't tell anyone. Look, that's not the point. I won't touch you. What if I promise just to lie here? Look, no, Tamsin. Please, Chase. I don't want to be alone tonight. Think it. I slept in my bed, she slept down here. There's a note for you. Hopefully she's gone home. What were you doing having a, a drink with my fiancé in the first place? Just happened to bump into him. Oh, all yeah, right, that's really funny because that's exactly what he said. You know, he's got a lump above his eye, oh, the size of a golf ball. Either. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That guy hit him pretty hard. Like Who is this guy? Hamish well. said he's banging on about some green backpack. Gus Sprensky? He said he was a, the brother-in-law of that uh, Fisher guy. You know the guy we pulled out of the transit van? Gus Sprensky. Yeah, what, you know him? Only by reputation. Local bookie, amongst other things. No, it's great. It's great. Now we're a gangster after me. Code 9 over turn 4 wheel drive, Jordan, on the freeway south of King Street. Two people trapped. Yep, on our way, Vince, over and out. Yeah, so anyway, I thought I could make some extra cash child minding, but kids don't seem to like me that much. Yeah, well, if you want to learn to fly a chopper, you know, it's going to cost you. You have to babysit like a million kids. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I looked into nude modelling for art classes, but the pay is peanuts. You seriously do that? Well, I've got nothing to be ashamed of. No, no, I'm, I mean, you're in great shape. Vince, it's unit 35. 
Go ahead, Heidi Ho. We're coming up to the King Street turnoff. I can't see any overturned vehicles. Over. Must be a hoax. Jordan! When the just breathe. Are you holding up? Yeah, all right. Oh. No, you should get that checked out. You might have a cracked rib. No, he didn't bust my rib to just bruise my sternum. Heard you guys had a little adventure. Yeah, mate, bogus MVA. Rocked around and wanker called it in. And if it wasn't for my expert driving. He means my observational skills. Ah, oh, right. You like giving your statements to the police? Mm-hmm. How are you? All right? Yeah, I'm fine. Give him a good one. You betcha. Lara's found something. Michelle wants us to go take a look. Yeah. All right. This guy rang here yesterday morning. He said he was interested in a career in rescue. He wanted to look around, an information pack. But he was a bit, I don't know, he was just weird. So he shot this video footage of me for his website. So I log on to it. Well, just to check yourself out. Or... And this is what I find in his video blog. Hey, that's yesterday's accident. He's clearly obsessed with you. That's him. That's definitely our rock thrower. How yeah, can you be sure? Well, this kind of crime's about voyeurism. No, he, he causes accidents because he gets off on it, he films it, so he can relive the moment. It's a trophy. Is that the guy? Uh, he's wearing a bandana and a hoodie, but Heidi got a closer look. Oh, uh, look, he'll be feeling my knee in his balls for a couple of days, but I'm sorry, I, I can't tell. We've got details on this guy. On his application for an information pack. Right, I'm going to call the police, get them to check him out. Hey, hey, hey. Green backpack. Must have got mixed up with the other victim stuff. <laughs> Mrs. Taylor. Where is she? I know she spent last night at your place. She came home this morning and packed her bags. She's gone. Where gone? Where? I was hoping you could tell me that. Sorry. The woman I love is dead. My beautiful girl has just left home. She's only 15. I'm holding you personally responsible. I don't know what you expect me to do. I know Tamsa made some sort of connection with you. Please. Please, I need your help to find my daughter. Always knew. Sonia wanted to tell Tamsin years ago. I kept convincing her to put it off. My wife was big on honesty. Thanks for trying. on to me. What? They got a warrant to search my place. They went through my stuff and confiscated some video equipment. No, I, I had nothing to do with that. They think I'm this rock thrower. They accused me of attacking two of your unit. Why would they think that? I saw your website. You've got video footage of the accident the other day. So? Look, I video lots of accidents, all right? It's, it's research. Okay, cool. What? 
No, look, don't walk away from me. Hey, 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 what are you doing here? Well, I came to see her. Just find out why she sick the cops onto me. She didn't sick anyone on. I did, you freak. And whether you're the rock thrower or not, don't care. You're an ambulance chaser. I've got a suggestion for you, matey. Get out of here now before I do something nasty to you and call the cops on you again. Get out! I can't believe I actually wanted to be one of you crazies. <laughs> Screw you. You all right? Yeah. So that's it. We're just gonna we're just gonna let him walk away. Cops will look after him. Don't worry. What well, is that? A rock throw? Actually, uh, seeing him up close, he looked a little too short. Just saying. Yeah. Hey, where have you been? Nowhere. There's a girl waiting back there for you. Young. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Who's we? Me and Colin. He's worried sick. Never worried about me before. He's your dad, Tamsin. He's not my dad. I just came to say goodbye. I'm going OS. To Europe, into the States. Backpack around for a year or so. It's tough school. You're 15. So, I can look after myself. Well, how are you going to pay for it? I've got some savings. See you, Chase. Tamsin. Tamsin, where'd you get that backpack? Look, let me see it. No! Look, give me a Why? look. Tamsin, get please. Off. It's my backpack! Tamsin, this money. <laughs> It's not it's yours. It's my money. It's a gift from my mum. There must have been a mix-up of the scene. This money belongs to someone else who was in the crash. Give up now. The guy who owns his money, he wants it back, and he's not going to let you keep Stop it. Stop him, all right? This came in my mum's stuff. She, she wants me to have a new life. Why else would she tell you about my dad? This is my money. I deserve it. It's, it's from my mum. It's mine. <laughs> No, I don't know, Tamsin. She didn't tell me why. <laughs> Forty-three, five hundred, six, seven, eight, forty-three, nine, fifty, forty-four straight. Six grand short. Mm -hmm. Showed up with her mum's stuff, so Tamsin figured it belonged to her. And what did she think her mum was doing walking around with fifty grand in an old green backpack? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Shopping? I don't know. What are we gonna do? What about we pass around the hat? All my life you've been costing me money. Fifteen bucks, are you kidding? Well, what are we going to tell Brensky? Well, that's up to you. Why is it up to me? Well, you're practically mates with Brensky, aren't you? I mean, I'm sure he knows where you live, Dino. <laughs> that's you. Mix up, eh? Stuff happens. It's uh, a few thousand lot. Six, to be precise. Hmm. Misunderstanding. What did this misunderstanding buy? A Vespa. Which is now in the wreckers. Look, I think you've come out of this all right. You've got most of your money back. Not all of it. No, true, true. But I could have gone to the cops. Or the tax office. So this stays between us? Yeah. Well, I suppose I could look at it as a donation to services. Well, in your line of work, you never know when you're going to need our help. Take it easy. The police called. They caught the rock thrower. He was targeting a police car, would you believe? Some 17-year-old self-proclaimed anarchist. Now listen, I've looked into this Rick Jones character and he applied for rescue two years ago but was knocked back at the psych assessment stage. Good riddance, I say. So, let me tell you a little something.
something about these rescue dudes. <laughs> they think they are so hot. Not especially this one. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? Fit. But take it from me, this babe is a complete nut job. So if the angel ever tries to come and rescue you, take my advice and run away. Hi, Lara. Hey. Let's get the taxi. Uh, transmission in the beam is playing up, so I've got it in the shop. Oh. How long's it going to be in the shop for? Who knows? Mechanics says it's a big job. See you tomorrow, Dean. Thanks. For what? Turning your life upside down? Ringing my dad. Your taste in music seriously does suck. <laughs> oh, I'll have to give that African punk music a try, won't I? Mm, Afro punk, and you're nowhere near cool enough. No. Right. So you coming for a bite tonight, or are you uh, going to be hanging out with Sasha? Oh, no, no, that's over. She's way too high maintenance. So are you going to tell Lara about Hamish's DUI? I thought you'd just learn a lesson, little brother. Sometimes it's better to keep your mouth shut. Come on, it's your shout. Sunday. I'm gonna see what's pinning your leg, all right? No! Their job is to save lives. Ah, ah, ah. Not lose them. For Dean as team leader. You're one man show. There's no excuses. All new Rescue Special Ops next Sunday, 8.30. Can't wait till next week? Then go to the official Rescue Special Ops website for a special sneak peek of next week's episode.